Now, we all understand the importance of shifting our businesses online. However, one big issue that many of our clients and viewers face is the overwhelming number of paid tools and software that they need in order to successfully run their businesses online. For example, to launch your business online, you need a website or a sales funnel so you can start generating website traffic and ultimately sales. Also, to continue engaging, building relationships and driving sales with your audience, you need to get started with email marketing activities. And to build a membership site or to sell online courses, you need a dynamic platform that can handle all these online activities for your business. Now, recently we discovered an all-in-one marketing platform that allows you to engage in all the online business activities that we mentioned above completely for free. This impressive tool is called System.io. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here then thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to guide you through how you can create a sales funnel for free using System.io. I will also share how you can simply use this one free tool to run your entire business online. Even if you have zero technical skills, this tool will work for you. Okay, so just quickly before we launch into System.io, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this all-in-one marketing platform. <music> Okay, so before we dive into this system.io tutorial, it's important to note that this video is a sponsored video. So the team at system.io reached out to us and asked if we could create a sponsored video about this powerful tool. Now, we did a bunch of research to identify if this tool is incredibly valuable for small business owners. And what we discovered is there is no tool like System.io that provides everything that businesses need in one place in one product to grow and run a business online. So because of the immense value that we found in this tool, we believe that this is going to be extremely beneficial for our audience and our clients. Now to arrive at System.io and get started with a free account, what you want to do is click the link below this video in our description and that's going to take you here. Now I just want to highlight that if you decide to use that link and upgrade to a paid plan, then we will get a small commission. And this just helps us continue to create educational content for this channel, so thank you in advance. Okay, so before I guide you through all the generous free features that System.io provides, we need to understand what a sales funnel is. Basically, a sales funnel is similar to a single page website, however, with a single focus CTA call to action and is usually aimed at driving conversions. Now, a sales funnel can be broken down into a online funnel that you can use to upsell, provide long term value, build loyalty and trust with your audience, with your customers. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, System.io not only allows you to build a sales funnel to drive conversions, but also you can engage in email marketing activities, marketing automations, you can build a website, a blog, and you can also create online courses and build a membership site. Usually you would need multiple tools and paid subscriptions to launch your business online using all these different activities. And in this video, I will guide you through all these complementary activities that you get for free all in one product. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get started with System.io by simply clicking the link in our description and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to enter your email address. So what I'm going to do is add a new email and create a fresh account. Then simply head over to your email and locate the login details. And here we are in our email. All we need to do is click on this confirmation link. 
And here we need to enter a new password, confirm the password, and then click I am not a robot and save. And here we are within our system.io dashboard. Now today, what I'm going to do is build a sales funnel, but first I need to think of a product or a service that I want to sell on system.io. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is create an online course that I want to sell through our sales funnel. Then following this, we're going to set up email marketing through system.io so we can continue engaging with our audience, build our audience and also provide value to that audience in the form of content and offers. So first things first, what we want to do is set up payments on our account so that we can get paid when people purchase our product or service through our sales funnel. So to do that, what we're going to do is navigate up to the top right hand corner and click here, then simply come down to settings. And here, what you want to do is take the time to fill out your profile information. Then once you've done that, simply navigate over to account settings. And under subdomain, what we want to do is add our business name or our personal brand. Now this depends on what you're using system.io for. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is use our business name, which is Cindio Media. And so we want to make sure that our subdomain in our URL is branded correctly. So we're going to go ahead and add our business name. And then once you've added your personal brand or your business name, come down and make sure that the time zone, date format and time format is correct and then simply click save. Okay, now that we've done that, what we want to do is navigate over to payment gateways and then take the time to connect Stripe and connect PayPal. It's a very straightforward process to connect both these payment gateways and this is going to allow you to collect payments when your customers purchase through your sales funnel. So go ahead and take the time to set up those two payment gateways. And then we have other settings down here that we're not gonna cover in this tutorial. Okay, so once you've taken the time to set up your account, what we want to do is navigate back to dashboard by navigating to dashboard and clicking main dashboard. Okay, now before we go ahead and create a sales funnel, what we want to do is navigate over to products and sales. This is where we can add our products or services. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to come down and create a course that we want to sell with our sales funnel. So to create a course, all you need to do is click courses and then navigate up to add a new course. And remember all the activities and features that I'm going to cover today in this tutorial are completely free within system.io's free plan. And basically, if you want to get more out of system.io, you can upgrade to an affordable paid plan at any time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly fill out this information to create a new course and then I'm going to guide you through all this information. So as you can see, I've added the course name, Digital Marketing for Small Business Owners. So basically our business, Cindio Media, is going to be promoting this course through a sales funnel, hoping that people convert through our sales funnel and access our courses within our membership site. Okay, so that's the name of our new course. Then we've added a description and a URL path. Basically, you want to make sure that this is named similar to your course name. So we've shortened it to Digital Marketing Course. However, you can add the entire name if you like. Then the course domain, we're using the free domain by system.io. Then below that, we have theme. You can select a theme here, the font if you like, the instructor name, and then we're going to leave everything default for now. So because we haven't created a sales funnel yet, we cannot connect this to that funnel. Okay, so once you've added all that information, simply navigate up to the top and click save. And then here, what we need to do is add our first module. Simply click add module and go ahead and create your first module. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to create two modules. And the first one is going to be called SEO for beginners. Then come down and click save. Now within your modules, you want to create lectures. So for this module here, SEO for beginners, we're going to add two lectures. 
and within your modules basically what you're doing is adding lectures so within this module seo for beginners we're going to go ahead and add two lectures by simply clicking add lecture and this one's going to be called what is seo and down here you can add a delay after previous lectures if you want to slowly roll out each lecture however for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to allow people that purchase this course through our sales funnel they will have complete access full access to this course that we're creating so we're going to leave that at zero and then down here we can select a template for our course structure our course content so I'm going to go ahead and leave this one selected. I can also preview each of these templates if I like, then come down and click save. And basically this is where we can go ahead and create our first lecture for our course under our first module. Now down here you can see that this is the content for our lecture. What you want to do is go through all this content and make sure you change it based on the content that you want to provide in your first lecture. Now over on the left hand side you can see that system.io provides a block builder. So basically over here we have elements that we can simply drag and drop onto our lecture page over here. Now this drag and drop block builder is identical across all the different features within system.io. For example, if you want to build a blog, a website, if you want to build a email campaign, or if you want to build a sales funnel, you're going to have access to this block drag and drop builder. So for example, if we scroll down here and under this text, let's say we wanted to add another text box. All we would do is click and drag and place that below this section here. So as you can see, that's been added. And now if I want to customize this text block, all I would do is click on it and that's gonna generate all the settings on the left hand side. So I can change the font size, line height, font type if I like. Then I have all these other options down here and you can do that with each of these blocks. For example, if I scroll down, if I click here and scroll down, here we have an image. If I click on this image module and navigate over here, you can see that I have options for customizing this image. I can add a new image or I can delete this image if I like. I can come down here and add a URL. So if someone clicks on this image, that's gonna take them to a URL. This could be a affiliate link, for example, if you're talking about a specific tool within your lecture, then you can add a photo of that tool and then link it to an affiliate link. And then if we scroll down, we have other options down here for customizing that box, that module. So what you wanna do is take the time to go through each of these different sections and customize them the way that you like. Now for the video, what I would do is click on this video module here, and that's gonna generate the video settings on the left hand side. Now what I can do is choose to add a YouTube video, or I can custom embed, or I can upload a file, and you can upload files onto system.io. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep YouTube selected, and then what I'm gonna do is add a YouTube video in here that explains what is SEO. Remember, that is the name of our lecture and that's exactly what our lecture is about. Okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight this YouTube URL and then right click and then click paste. And that's gonna add my YouTube video in here, what is SEO. And then again, like I mentioned, what I would do is click here, simply scroll down and change all this content with the simple block builder. So remember you have your elements over here that you can simply drag and drop. If you want to add a text box, you can add that in here by simply dragging and dropping. Headline text, bullet point list if you like, you can drag and drop, content box. You can also add column layouts and then you have other options down here like a form or different forms of media, another video, audio, image and others down here. Social media links, Facebook comments and more down here. So you have so many options for customizing your landing pages, your email campaigns, your website, or in this case, this lecture page. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, we also have blocks. If I click on blocks, I can come down and I can select any of these options. For example, if I click testimonials, 
I can add these block templates. So for example, if I like the look of this template here, this section template, I can click here. And what that's gonna do is automatically add that section down below. And then again, you can simply customize each of these text elements or these other image modules. And what I can also do is move each of these element modules by simply clicking this up arrow. I can also do the same with these text modules or elements. And then we have row and section. So if I wanted to move this section all the way to the top, because at the moment we've only got two sections, this large section here and this section we just added. If I click the arrow, that's gonna take that section all the way up to the top. So what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and delete that section by clicking this delete button. I can also save this section. I can also navigate over to duplicate to duplicate that section or I can head over to settings and customize the settings. So what I'm gonna do is delete that section and click okay. And then as you can see, I just have this video. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is quickly just go ahead and change this text to what is SEO. And then as you can see, we also have basic formatting options above as well as on the left hand side. Now, when you've made any of your changes, what you wanna do is simply navigate over to save changes on the top right hand corner. And then to view your page, your lecture, all you would do is click this preview. And as you can see, this is what our course lecture will look like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is head back to the editor and then what we can also do is scroll down to the bottom and you can preview what your page will look like on mobile as well as on desktop. Okay, so once you're happy with all your changes, simply navigate up to this exit icon up on the top right hand side. And like I mentioned before, we now have one module and one lecture within that module. Now, if I wanted to add another lecture to this module, I can go ahead and click add lecture. Now I can also navigate over here and I can duplicate this lecture if I like, and that's gonna create a duplicated lecture page over here. And basically duplicating is great for when you've created a design for your overall style of your lectures. You can simply duplicate that lecture and then just change the content rather than building from scratch again. And then to simply customize this lecture, all I'll do is click edit lecture content. I can also preview this lecture page. I can edit the lecture settings and create a drip campaign if I want to create a drip. But remember, I'm going to provide this entire course when a customer purchases this course through our sales funnel. And again, we can duplicate and then we can delete this lecture. Now, what I'm gonna do is quickly go ahead and add a new module. And I'm gonna call this Google Ads for beginners and then hit save. And as you can see, if I navigate up to our first module here and click the down arrow, you can see our two lectures within our first module. Then our second module down here is called Google Ads for Beginners. What I can do is quickly go ahead and add a new lecture. But what I'm gonna do is navigate over here and click duplicate. And then again, I'm going to click this down arrow and then simply drag this new copy and put that below our second module. And just like that, I have two modules and three lectures. So I'm gonna leave our course like that for the purpose of this tutorial so we can start building out our sales funnel. Now, before I do that, I just want to quickly go ahead and change this name by simply navigating over to settings. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly change this name to how to do SEO and then hit save. Then I'll quickly just change the name of our third lecture under our second module. And I'm gonna change this to what is Google Ads and then hit save. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and expand our entire course. And this is the course that we're gonna use for today's tutorial. So that is how you can create a course with system.io. So this is the service that we're gonna be selling with system.io. This is basically a membership site with a course that our customers can access once they've paid for this course. So remember, you wanna take the time to create and customize your course, your lecture pages. So we've created our course. Now what we wanna do is create a sales funnel by simply navigating up to funnels and then navigating over to create. First, what we wanna do is name our funnel. We're gonna call this digital marketing course sales funnel. 
Then down here we have the option to either build an audience. So this is creating a sales funnel that collects emails and builds your email list. We can also click sell, which allows you to build a sales funnel so that you can convert your customers by selling a product or a service. Then we have custom and run an evergreen webinar. So for the purpose of this tutorial, because we're selling a course, what we're gonna do is click sell and then come down and choose the currency that you want to use and then click create. Okay, so first on the left hand side, you can see our sales funnel steps. So at the moment we've got a order form, then the second step is a thank you page. You can add additional steps. So for example, if you have a multi-step sales funnel, you can go ahead and create that here by simply coming down and clicking create step. All you need to do is name your step, then come down and select here. And this is where you can create a squeeze page, which is basically a landing page. You've got an inline form, pop-up form. Then we have a sales page, order form, and we have more down here. For example, you can add up sell after your sales page if you like. Then we have webinar and we have other options down here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is keep this very simple and we're just gonna use a squeeze page or a sales page. And once a customer converts and they purchase our course, that will send them to our thank you page and they will have access to our course that we just created. Okay, so first we have our order form selected. So what we wanna do is come down and select a pre-made template that we wanna use for our sales funnel and our order page. So I like the look of this one here. What I'm going to do is click select. You can also preview each of these templates if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and click select. And then navigate up here and name your order form if you like. What we're gonna do is click here and add digital marketing course. And then come down and add a URL path. This should be related to what you're trying to sell or the focus of this page. I'm going to call this Learn Digital Marketing. And then down here we have the option to set up affiliate commission and a payout delay. This is if you have other people that are promoting and selling your course. However, what we wanna do is focus on resources and price plans. So with resources, what we're gonna do is click here and then navigate down to select a resource and then scroll down and what we wanna do is select course and then choose the course. So we created a course called Digital Marketing for Small Business Owners. Then down here, what you wanna do is click Choose Course Access Type. We're gonna click Full Access. Remember we talked about dripping your content, so someone could, for example, watch the first module or get started with the first lecture, and then you could drip the second module or second lecture a few days later. What we're gonna do is allow people to have full access once they purchase this course. So basically this course is the resource which the customer will have access to after they purchase through our sales funnel. Then what we wanna do is come down and add a pricing plan. So click here and then navigate up to price plan type. Here you can select a pricing type, for example, one shot, subscription, payment plan. We're gonna go ahead and click one shot and then come down to choose a price plan. Now, if you don't have a price plan yet, what you can do is go ahead and create one by clicking create a new one. We're gonna name this digital marketing course price and down here, we're gonna add digital marketing course plan. This is what the customer will see on the payment page. And then down here, we need to add a statement descriptor. This is basically a small description that will show up on the bank statement. Then down here, we want to select type. And again, we're gonna select one shot and then enter the amount for your course or your product. For us, we're just gonna add $99 and then hit save. And just like that, we've added our pricing plan. Now we can also add an additional pricing plan if we like, and we can also add additional resources on this sales page if we like. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is start building our sales funnel. Now, as you can see, our name has changed back and our URL is different again. This is because we didn't click save. So what you wanna do when you make any changes is ensure that you click save funnel step. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go ahead and change the name and the URL path back to how we had it. 
and then click save again. Now to view the sales funnel, all you need to do is click view funnel step or to start customizing, simply click edit page. And just like that, we can go ahead and customize our order form the way that we like. Now, remember that we mentioned system.io offers a drag and drop block builder. This is the same as what we showed you when we created our lecture page. So take the time to build your landing page by simply dragging each of these element blocks and placing them where you like. Then simply click on those elements to customize those elements the way that you like. Now remember everything is customizable. For example, if I click on this image, I can go ahead and change the image if I like. For example, up here I definitely need to change the logo. So what I would do is click here and click again and then simply change the logo to my business logo. Then make sure you're going through all this content on this page. You can also change colors. For example, if I click on this button, I can navigate down the page and I can change the background color of this button. Now each section you can also delete. So for example, if I didn't want this section, all I would do is simply navigate over to the far right hand side and click delete and OK. And that will remove that entire section. So for example, if I wanted to keep this page as simple as possible, what I could do is delete this section here by navigating over to the far right hand side and clicking delete and OK. And as you can see, we now just have the booking form up here and then some other information down here that we can take the time to customize the way that we like. So again, we're not gonna spend too much time customizing this page. You wanna take the time to actually go through each of these elements, each of these blocks, or you can navigate over to blocks and add different sections like we showed you earlier when creating a lecture page. And navigate back up to the top so basically to optimize your landing page, your sales form or order form, this is the first step in your sales funnel. You want to make sure that you have social proof. Social proof is a great way to give your product or service authority. And this can be in the form of reviews. Or you can have customer stories, which is great to help build that authority and credibility. You also want to add FAQs, so questions, frequently asked questions or objections that your potential customers might have. And in terms of the content, you want to make sure that you're providing as much value as you can. Now, before we finish up, you can also customize your form field. For example, if you wanted to remove something, let's say, for example, state province, you can simply go ahead and delete that form input. Or you can go ahead and change the form input by simply selecting that form input and navigating over to input type and then selecting the import type that you want to add to your form. So again, it's very straightforward to customize your form. Then once you're finished, make sure you click save changes and then view your form before you're ready to go live. So for example, if we click preview, this is going to allow us to preview our form. So again, take the time to customize each of the sections, the blocks, the different elements on your landing page before you start sending organic or paid traffic to your sales funnel. So what I'm going to do is head back to our page editor. And then I'm gonna head back to our funnel settings by clicking exit in the top right hand corner. Then like I mentioned earlier, what we want to do is customize each of the steps in our sales funnel. So at the moment, we've only got two pages in our sales funnel. We've got a order form, which we've already customized, and we've got a thank you page. So if we click on the thank you page, this is where we can select a thank you page template. So for example, if I select this template here, and here we can go ahead and change the name of our thank you page, and we can also come down and change the URL path of our thank you page. What I'm going to do is change this to thank you and then hit save. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and customize your thank you page by clicking edit page. And again, that's gonna generate the drag and drop block builder for you to start customizing this page template. 
So again, you can customize all these different elements as well as the background if you like. So for example, on the thank you page, this is where you can add all your social media buttons. You could send people to your YouTube channel. You can also send people to your Facebook group or you can add additional details about your business or how they can access their course membership. Then when you make any changes, make sure you click save changes, preview, and then when you're done, exit back to your funnel settings. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is leave our sales funnel the way that it is. So we've just completed our sales funnel. We've created a two-step sales funnel with a order form and then a thank you page. And what we're selling is the course that we created within system.io. Now what we wanna do is start engaging in email marketing and you can get started with email marketing within system.io completely for free. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to email and then come down to campaigns. Then simply navigate over to create and we're gonna call this welcome email. And then down here you can add a description. I'm just gonna go ahead and add welcome email campaign. Then once you've added those details, come down and click save campaign. Then select the email that you just created. And this is where we wanna create an automated email sequence. So to do that, what we're gonna do is click add an email. Here we want to add the sender's name. In our case, that's going to be my name. Then over here, ensure that you have a business email added up here. And then come down and add a compelling subject text. This is the first bit of text that your customers, that your audience will see when this email arrives in their inbox. We're gonna add welcome to our community. And then down here, you can choose to create your first email with the visual editor. So basically, like we've showed you, you can use the drag and drop block builder to create your campaign. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we wanna do is click classic editor. And this is gonna allow us to create a more personalized, minimalistic email. So to do that, simply click create. And then to create the body of your email, it's very straightforward. All you need to do is come down here and simply type in your email, your welcome email. You also have access to all these formatting options up here like you see in any email service. So what I'm gonna do is add hey, and then navigate over to available substitutes. And what I'm gonna do is copy this first name substitute and then navigate over to hey, paste. And basically what this does is automatically generates the first name of our contacts on our email list. And we're gonna slowly build our email list every time someone purchases through our sales funnel that we just created. And basically when that customer purchases through that sales funnel, we want to send this email automatically to that customer. And this is going to welcome them to our community. You also have other options down here to add to the body of your email. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and create our first automatic welcome email. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and created our first welcome email as part of this email sequence. And we've also added a link that takes our customers to our Facebook group if they have any questions. So take the time to create your first welcome email. And before we go ahead and click save and publish, we also have the option to add attachments. And before we click save and publish, we can also save and send a test email to our email to make sure that this email looks okay before we make it go live. So what we're gonna do is simply click save and publish. Okay, so over here we have the option to set a delay before sending this welcome email. Now because this is the first email that we're sending as soon as a customer, purchases our course, we want this email to be sent right away. So what we need to do is add zero up here and then leave everything else as it is and click publish. Okay, now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is add one more email to this sequence. So to do that, we're gonna go add an email and then add a name and subject. And then again, we're gonna click classic editor and then click create. 
And then down here, what I'm gonna do is quickly just create a rough email so I can show you how email sequences work. Okay, so I've quickly just added this email. Basically, this is the second email in our sequence that's going to be sent after the welcome email. And this is going to give a free content calendar to our customers. So what we would do is click add attachment and you can actually add multiple attachments if you like. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and upload the free content calendar by clicking choose file. And here is the document that we want to provide. And then we're just going to click open. And this time what we're going to do is click save. Okay, so down here you can see our welcome email that we first created. That's already delivering. You can see this little green tick. This email is automatically sent when a customer purchases our course through our sales funnel. And like I said, this email gets sent straight away. Now, because we saved this free content calendar email and we didn't save and publish, in order to publish this email, what we need to do is click publish. And this time, what we're gonna do is set a delay because we already have a welcome email that's going to be sent straight away. This second email that offers a free content calendar is going to be sent a day later. So what we're gonna do is add one, and then over here, we're gonna select days. And you can also come down and click after the welcome to our community email. So this is gonna be sent one day after the welcome to our community email is sent. We can also select a time when the email should be sent and days of the week when this email should be sent. But I'm happy with these basic settings. Then I'm going to click publish. And just like that, the campaign step was successfully activated. So this is our email sequence, our two step email sequence that we want to send automatically as soon as a customer purchases our course through our sales funnel. Now, the last thing we need to do in order to activate this welcome email campaign is we need to navigate back over to funnels and then simply click on the sales funnel that we created earlier. Then what we're gonna do is select our order form and then navigate over to automation rules, then click add rule and then we can add a trigger for when our email campaign is going to be sent. We're gonna select new sale and then click add action. And we're gonna click subscribe to campaign and then simply select the campaign that you just created. For us, we wanna select the welcome email campaign and then click save rule. And just like that, when a customer makes a purchase, in our case, when they purchase our course through our sales funnel, they're gonna be automatically added to our campaign, the two-step campaign we created. And that is essentially what we wanted to cover in today's tutorial, how to create a course, a membership site, then how to create a sales funnel, and then how to engage in email marketing. This is how you can set up your business online through system.io. Now, it's important to mention that you can also click on blogs and you can go ahead and create a new blog or a new website by simply clicking create a blog. And this allows you to create a single page blog or a multi page website. So like I mentioned, system.io is an all-in-one tool that is completely free to use and allows you to establish your business online and engage in different forms of marketing. Now, if you want to see more tutorials on system.io, then let me know down in the comments below. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in today's tutorial, helping you get started and making the most of this amazing all-in-one dynamic business platform. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's walkthrough of system.io. Remember, if you're ready to launch a new business online or you're looking to shift your existing business online, then system.io is a great all-in-one solution for you. Now, if you have any questions about system.io, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. Remember, if you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. We'll see you next time. Take care.